Good morning, Sydney. Six o'clock in the morning. We are headed out. Here's the spare bedroom we never got to use. Well, we didn't get to use it. We kept our clothes in here because there's no TV, so there's easier sleeping out here. There's Byron trying to get bags out the door. Push together double beds because we're from the 1950s. No biggie. Just pushing three very heavy suitcases down the city streets at six in the morning. Smart. Look, there's the moon, guys. Goodbye, moon. Yeah, goodbye, moon. Oh, it really disappeared. That was sad. So, Byron, why are we up at 6.39 in the morning? Well, we got four hours to our flight, right? I thought it was going to take like an hour to get to the thing, to the airport. Typed in GPS with a stop to the gas station, 23 minutes. Still gonna take me an hour now. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna miss the coffee here in Australia. Oh my god, the coffee's delicious. It's like candy. It's not that good. God, I haven't seen pumps like this in forever. Or ever. I don't even know if I've ever seen pumps like this. We're leaving the gas station, and Byron said that you can actually pre pump. Like, you know how we have to pay and then we pump, or we have to slide our card at least? Yeah. Yeah, you pre-pump. We thought yeah. it was actually kind of really cool. I went into the gas station. I was like, yeah, I need gas on pump number six. Meters, He's like, right like, yeah, just fill it up. Street. I'm like, oh, you don't have to pay before? He's like, no, no, no. So when I went back in there, I explained to him, like, yeah, in America, you have to do that. And he sounded, he, like, seemed really surprised by it. And uh, I was like, well, people kept running the pump. They were just pumping and jet off. So, you know, they got rid of it. So he was pretty amazed by that. <laughs> also, when you buy gas here, it's about a liter, not about a gallon. So like I think it's four liters in a gallon, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, so when you do about a liter, the price jumps up like every 15, 20 cents a second. So it scared me when I started filling up. I'm like, um, when's it gonna stop? Yeah, that's funny. Worried. Look, there's Byron driving. We haven't got him driving this car yet. I wanna take this car home. Oh. Yeah, I like this car. See, even that sign says it. 15 minutes to the city. This burn didn't see that. I'm a little obsessed with the water bottle. The Powerade. They don't make it this size. This is awesome. And for $2.99, you can't go wrong. We are on the train. It's like the upstairs and downstairs. But this is a nice little airport get up they've got here. I can buy my lens bar. No, you're not buying your lens over here. We're getting food. Free though. No, we're getting food and we're leaving. No better way to end our trip. Y'all know how I serve, I fill out the surveys in um, Georgia to get us free food. They have it here, but they want to be magnificent. Who needs too far away? I just beat that guy. I bought a gym and I beat the guy, but I said I didn't. Aww. The the Pokemon didn't recognize you. We're on our way walking back. This long hallway. Touch the plane. Touch it. Touch it. So we're delayed an hour. Go to the station. Imagine a billing tab. Byron's watching Star Trek. But apparently Chris Hansworth work with him.
never flown in here during the day. I already missed Australia and their tiny portions. There's our drink. That's our hash rounds. So we're just sitting here waiting for our plane. I got my book. I'm trying to finish reading it so I can start reading my Australian book. I already really reading. Buying feathers in these chairs. I'm going to show you buying feathers in these chairs. And they're awesome. They're so comfortable. That's it for the suns right there. That's what you're playing. I got a free seat and sitting again. He thought I was uncomfortable for a little bit. I mean, I was. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a guy over there that had two empty seats next to him, and then there was one in front of us that has I think two empty seats too. So it's probably like an empty seat, so it's not like I kicked somebody else off, off the plane. We are leaving about 20 minutes late because um, there was a problem with one of the spinny things. What was wrong? There was some type of strap that was on the side but he was like, yeah, we saw something weird. I was like, thanks. Thank you feel good. <laughs> Look guys, there's a whole like group of planes over here lining up to take off. That long runway. That's how I'm burning. This is my third time flying out of this airport in my life. Um, this is probably my second most visited airport besides Atlanta. So thanks for that, San Francisco. Or it's not with the stairs that I want to go up. <sighs> Why are you in the bag? You're dead in the bag. Oh my God! You made it back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Waiting for luggage, and Byron is fighting to get in a gym. Got to. Keep an eye for all of Oh, sure. I'll keep my eyes on it. Hey, boy. How you doing, boy? How you doing? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, I love you. We got home and we relaxed a little bit with some muckers. And we got ourselves some food because we were both starving. But right when we got in, we put the food on the table. Old Faithful was right here. Yep, just like he is right now while he was sitting. Now he's laying in this spot waiting for some food to drop. We got Smuckers a plain hamburger, which this thing looks just, eh, looks just sad as can be. But it kind of reminds me of the second Beethoven movie. Do you ever see Beethoven 2? Yeah. Where they're like at the hamburger eating contest and the dog's like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Stay. You take that burger. Hey guys, 
So it is right before midnight. Um, we're not going to bed yet, but we're going to be up watching Big Brother and the zoo, trying to get caught up. I have so many shows to get caught up on during the week. It's just funny to think of it this morning. We were in Sydney, and now we're back in Georgia at the end of the night. It's so weird to think about that. We we were traveling for like 22 hours, two flights, waiting forever on that gate. Three hour layover in between, by the way. Yeah, three hour layover. And then 30 minutes to get our um, baggage. And then like 40 minute drive home with my mom. And then Byron and them took Marta and they still ended up behind us by like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But anyways, before we sign off for tonight, we wanted to go ahead and give Smuggers his toy. He's extremely tired because he's been at my mom's for the last two weeks playing with Pa. So I don't know how well it's going to go over, but... Look at the boomerang! It's a boomerang! They are gone. This is not for you, this is the phone in the remote. <laughs> It's a little big for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there, you oh, there go. he goes. Right into my seat. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good Yay. Boy. All right, guys. So we'll see you next week. We'll be back to our normal Friday and Saturday vlogs. Please check out our whole Australian vacation. They will be up. All of them will be up by midweek. And you guys have a great week. And we'll see you guys next weekend. Cheers.